Hello everyone. Before we begin today's video, I want to remind you that my book of short horror stories called The Things That Happen at Night is available at the link in the description for only $3. Also down below, you can sign up for my uh, newsletter. I send those out two or three times a month. And uh, you can also join me over there on all of my social media. Social media. I like to be social. So come join me and let's be social uh, together. I also have four free short horror stories on Wattpad. Uh, there's a link down below for my page there. Be sure to check all those out as well. They're just for you and people who stumble up on my page over there. All right. Now let's get on with the video. <laughs> All right, so we have four, four upcoming horror novels that are definitely all must reads. I am going to be doing reviews on all of these books individually uh, as we get closer to their release dates. Um, these are ones I've been able to read, the ARCs, the advanced review copies of. And I know there's a lot more horror books coming out uh, between now and when these books release. <clears throat> but these are the ones I've read. Uh, and the ones I, I definitely recommend you pick up. And down below in the description, there are links, there are pre-order links to all these books and their release dates. So be sure to check out that information. But you're going to want to pick all these up uh, because they're absolutely fantastic. And I am not putting these in any particular order, like uh, from my least favorite to my favorite. They're all great. Uh, and so today I'm just going to give you the uh, Reader's Digest reviews of these books. And hopefully you'll like the sound of it and you'll go ahead and pick all those up. So let's start with the first one right now all right so the first book that you should pre-order that's coming out real soon is called briar dark by s.a harian uh this is a uh, basically a book about some hikers they're going to do some research in a certain area and uh you know lost in the woods things do not go well but they're not just lost they are where they're supposed to be however they can't get out and people that come looking for them in the spot where they're at can't find them because things are not as they seem in those woods. There's another world hidden behind ours and uh, things get very creepy really fast. Lots of secrets, lots of uh, otherworldly events happen and something they find out is stalking them. Uh, this is a very, very exciting book. It's, uh, it keeps the pages turning. I absolutely love this book. And uh, you definitely have to pick it up. It's called Briar Dark by S.A. Harian. The second book I want to talk about is Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones. Uh, this is this follow-up finally to uh, the very awesome, one of my favorite books, uh, My Heart is a Chainsaw. And... Uh, this is part of this is the second book in the trilogy and this takes place after the events of the first book a few years after that big massacre and if you haven't read my heart is a chainsaw i really really recommend that you go pick that one up now um this can be a standalone book there is enough back information so you don't get lost however if you want to get the full experience uh definitely get my heart is a chainsaw <clears throat> but this book brings back our main protagonist jade She's a few years older, perhaps a few years wiser. But what I really like is he brings back some of the characters from that first book that had a kind of a periphery. Um, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? A periphery kind of arc in the last book, I guess you can say. They weren't really main characters uh, or anything like that. But this time he brings them back and he gives them more of a story. And, and these characters become more essential to the story than sometimes when they did in the first book. And uh, <clears throat> so it's very exciting. 
All the slasher movie references are in there, which I really, really love. And, of course, if you've ever read Stephen Graham Jones, you know he has a, a very particular style, <clears throat> writing style that I truly, truly enjoy. And this one was fantastic. And uh, I don't know how he's going to finish up this trilogy, but uh, when he can make a sequel that's just as good or maybe even better <clears throat> than the original, um, well... There you go. <laughs> you got to pick it up. Uh, Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones. And next we have, ooh, The Spite House by Johnny Compton. <clears throat> Man, this is a haunted house story, but it's so much more than that. It, it is. Uh, we have a family, a father and two daughters who are on the run from something and and. We don't know what that is. We just know that they don't want to be found. They're living out of hotels, taking odd jobs to make ends meet. Uh, but they're very close-knit. They're all in this together. And uh, an old lady decides, uh, an old rich lady decides that she wants them to stay in this house that she owns called the Spite House uh, and record paranormal activity. But in exchange, she'll uh, let them stay there rent-free uh, and give them basically life-changing money, a money that will get rid of all their problems on uh, as it pertains to why they're running. And, uh, and they do, but they are going to regret it. But this is so much more than just a haunted house story because this is a story about a father's love for his daughter's uh, the lengths he'll go through to protect them. And the reason they need protecting and the reason they're on the run is something is kind of a twist halfway through the book uh, that you're absolutely going to love. It changes everything about what we think about these characters at the beginning. And uh, yeah, this is a fantastic book. It's scary. It's creepy. It sneaks up on you. And then uh, in the finale, it just, it'll break you. <laughs> this is a great book. I highly recommend it. Uh, the Spite House by Johnny Compton. Definitely have to pick that one up. And last but certainly not least, we have Our Share of Night by Mariana Enriquez. Ooh, this one is a banger. This one is about a father who passes down a legacy to the son. It's about a cult. It's about a certain gift or perhaps a curse that the father has that can only be passed down to his son. And it's a supernatural kind of curse that can harm people, can, can actually kill the person channeling this energy. But it's he's trying to hide his son from this cult. But he knows he's not going to be able to because they have eyes everywhere. They have the money to find him. And oh, it's just a, a fantastic, well-told story about the family, about friendship, about uh, protecting somebody from a situation even if they were born specifically for that situation. I don't know. It's, it's all those things put together. And this one has a lot of heart and, and it's uh, uh, so well written. And uh, it, it's engrossing, engaging, scary, horrifying at times and kind of bloody uh, at certain points because the ritual from the entity he is forced to... Uh, bring forth i guess you can say is uh yeah it's very gross <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> but it but everybody accepts it because of course people with money and power what do they want they want more money and more power and they'll do anything to get it and keep it and increase it <clears throat> so you definitely don't want to sleep on this one our share of night it's a fantastic book and of course as always, I highly, highly recommend it. And I know these 
shorter descriptions don't do these books justice. But like I said, I will be having full reviews on all of these books as they get closer to their release date. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to hear about all those. Uh, because they're all simply fantastic. And I recommend all of them uh, to you. And as always, I want to say thank you for taking some of your time and spending it here with me. I really appreciate you guys watching. And until we meet again, keep reading spooky, my friends.